screwed up. It's gonna need a front end on it, unfortunately. You guys remember Hassan? There's the 530. And we're going to the LA Auto Show. I think it's working. It's filming, but it may only be um, on internal memory. Never any traffic in Los Angeles. Never. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Let's see how the front looks. We're at Lincoln, and it's just like their Detroit area, except they don't have an upstairs here, but they have these ball things that they've had in Detroit for a couple of years now. Okay, so. This is why I hate Ford. These are stickers. They're not even functional. That's a complete sticker. Everything on this thing's just for looks. I bet that isn't even functional. This is a 5.0. Look at this. All plastic. The whole thing is plastic. This is the best car here. If it were a 550, that would be the answer, but look at that. That's better than any of this new plastic stuff. We're in a Kia, what is this? K900. K900. Welcome back to the vlogs. What's up? And uh, I have to say, I'm fairly impressed. It's got, it's got, uh, yeah, an Alcantara headliner. It's got, uh, what do you call these? Power rear seats. I don't know what the auto means. I'm not sure what that means, but it's got heated and cooled seats back here. It's got uh, lumbar left and right. I mean, for a Kia, holy crap. Oh, that's nice. This is all leather, perforated leather. It's got ambient lighting in the doors. It's got sun shades that will probably break just like the 5 Series do. It's got LED lights up here. I thought these were Wagon Olsen at first. No, oh, Lexicon. Yeah, not bad. So this is that Kia. Uh, they're saying low 50s to low 60s, depending on how it's optioned. This is the V8 with apparently everything on it. Front rear PDC, LED lights. It's actually very impressed. Thank you guys so much for your time today. We got four great 2015 GTR models and four. 2013 most trusted brand of the year. High praise coming from this leading consumer publication. Third and equally important, you know, it's not a. 800. It's tall people. How much? 800. 800,000. Something like that. It's close. Close to 918, I remember. I don't like the green. Porsche has a nice setup. We can go and hopefully they'll have the owners. Well, yeah, you have your key, so. You have your No, it's in the bag at home. I debated bringing it, but I didn't want to scratch my stuff up all day. It's a lot better, though. This is the new Porsche McCann. Turbo, kind of cool looking. Big, big ass wheels on it. 
It's a smaller SUV, X3 competitor, I suppose. Got a blue one. And a black one down there. Actually, that looks like carbon black metallic, doesn't it? stuff here with Audi, but we're going down there. Yeah. Can you guess? Can you guess? Yep. Talk to you there. That's really cool, actually. They have a 750i. They have a 535i GT. Looks like a 528 over there or something. They have a X. What the hell is that? That's the new X5. I had to look at that for a couple seconds. That's the F whatever X5. We'll look at that in a minute. Here's the X4. Very cool. That's a 535 diesel. They have a 428 convertible, 4 Series, or is it 3? That's a 4 Series coupe. M5 over there. So the new X5, that's weird looking. the color but yeah it's that matte paint there we go now we're focused 435i best part about this 435i it feels really good too I just sat in it super tight shifts not real short Real tight, light clutch though, only complaint. The uh, 428 convertible. First, first convertible they've had since the 93. Looks pretty good. Three grand more than that. 3,000 more for a 428 convertible versus a 435 coupe. No manual in this convertible. What else did I see? Active Hybrid 3. 
<laughs> 3 Series Gran Turismo, i3 and i8. <laughs> That's the i8. They've redone it a little bit since I've seen it. The i3 hasn't really changed since I saw it in Detroit. Oh, good God. Classy. Quality, right? <laughs> they have a bra, this one. Over here. Brabus. Wants to know. We packed their display. The BE39 source for the smart car. We need to do that with the E63. Oh, it's it's loading. It's still going. It's loading. You know how these iPads are. Apple. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See if it's loaded any any actual pictures yet. Oh, pixel by pixel. Yes, here's my options. Which color do I make to bring to the show? That's horrible. That would be a <laughs> Side. I guess it's Corvette tradition to have all four in the center, but two on each side would be much more flattering for my taste at least. The new Corvette Stingray. Completely and utterly plastic. I mean, those aren't cars, that's hard. As well as a CTS Coupe, the ELR right across the way that Rosemary talks about, which is our extended range electric here. She can take you and escort you personally down to our test driving area. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for dropping by Cadillac. And you guys have a fantastic time here at the Los Angeles That's International Auto Show. <laughs> Hyundai Equus, we're taking a break in here. We just had rap music just blaring. You can from back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is priceless. <laughs> Alright guys, we are in the aftermarket section over here. We got a Lambo in yellow. Interesting, interesting. Tesla. McLaurin. McLaren. McLaurin. McLaren. Range Rover. Bunch of them Benzes around here. <laughs> uh oh. We got Deckard. Lamborghini can't hold back. Fisker headed out. Very cool. First one I've seen being here this time. Alrighty, so I just finished editing that. It's uh, probably about 11. It's not really late at all, but we got up early this morning to head up to Los Angeles. Horrible weather today. Uh, it was warm, probably 70, but it uh, rained most of the day. It's 10.59, so I'm uh, pretty close to 11. So last night, I thought I was going to be all smart and get everything ready to go so I could get up, and I'm not very good in the morning. Some of you may know that. I thought I'd get up, like throw, throw a shirt on, a pair of pants, grab my phone, go out the door, and that's what we did. 
and I got, um, we got about halfway up the coast, and I thought, oh, I should start a vlog. So I pulled the camera out, filmed for five seconds, it shuts off, and it's like, no memory card. I thought, oh, well, I didn't accept the memory card. I opened the little door. No, the memory card isn't there. I left it in the SD port on the frickin' Mac. Dicked. So I looked at my phone, and I decided not to bring an extra battery or, or a cord with my phone. I'm like, oh, I won't be using it. I'll just be, use the, be using the Canon to do all my pictures and video. No, no, I forgot the car. So I texted Hassan, who we were gonna pick up and go to the auto show with. You guys remember him, we hung out with him um, when Kenan and Colton and I were here in June. We went up to LA for a day, hung out with him, then he came down here to San Diego for a day. Um, so I texted him, he had a four gig micro SD, and we put that in an adapter, put it in the phone. I had to do today's video in 720p because it was only a four gig card, and I pretty much filled it up. And then it was horrible trying to get that footage off the bat for some reason. I had to use my dad's Mac, it, it read it, mine wouldn't. But anyways, it's done. It's, it's in 29.97 frames at 720p instead of 23.98 at 1080p. So deal with it. Um, we went to the show. Really, really good show. Um, got really tired of walking, though. It was a long day. We got really tired on the way back. Actually had dinner on Alvera Street at La Galandria. It's kind of a tradition. Whenever we're in L.A., we have to go to Alvera Street and have dinner. So we did that. Dropped him off, and then my dad drove on the 405 until we got to the 5, and then I drove back here on the 5 and the M5. So lots of 5s. That was fun, though. It was a good day. Really tired. Tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, it's going to be another catch-up day, I think. Um, we're going to have to go back to the Home Depot. We need a sprinkler. We need this cover here. Just random stuff like that. And it's supposed to be a nice day. So I look forward to that, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Sorry for the mix-up, and I really hope you like cars. If you've watched this far, you do. So we'll talk tomorrow. Good night.